Hello students. Welcome to the online lectures of Kids Planet High School. This lecture is for standard 7 subject maths chapter indices. Let us now begin. Let us now study about base and index. You know that the addition of the same number again and again can be shown as multiplied. For example, when we say 2 plus 2, we can write it as 2 multiplied by 2. Or when we say 2 plus 2 plus 2, we can say that as 2 multiplied by 3. It means the 2 is plus 3 times 2 is added 3 times. Similarly, the number 2 taken 8 times is expressed as 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. 8 times your 2 is multiplied by itself 8 times this is written as 2 raised to 8 in short this is the index form of the multiplication your 2 is called the base and 8 the index 2 raised to 8 is read as 2 raised to the power 8 or 2 raised to 8 or the 8th power of 2 so students what we just studied now was the base and index of a number the value of a number in the index form let's take an example 2 raised to 8 is equal to 2 times 8 it means 2 is multiplied 8 times by itself 2 multiply by 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 2 and multiply by 2 which is equal to 256 here 256 is the value of the number 2 raised to 8 similarly minus 2 upon 5 the whole raised to 3 is equal to minus 2 upon 5 multiplied by minus 2 upon 5 multiplied by minus 2 upon 5 it means minus 2 upon 5 is multiplied 3 times by itself which is equal to minus 8 upon 125 the first number of any number sorry the first power of any number is the number itself for example 5 raised to 1 is 1 2 upon 7 the whole raised to 1 is equal to 2 upon 7 if the power or index of a number is 1 the convention is not to write it for example 5 raised to 1 is written as 5 it means if the power of any number of any rational number is the power is 1 then we write the same number so students let's try solving practice set 26 based on the following information that we just learned now main question number 1 complete the following table here the number is given in an index form that is 3 raised to 4 so the base is 3 the index here is 4 and its multiplication form is 3 multiply by 3 multiply by 3 multiply by 3 which is 3 is written 4 times its value will be 81 let's take another example minus 13 raised to 4 so minus 13 is the base and 4 is the index so its multiplication form will be minus 13 multiplied by minus 13 multiplied by minus 13 multiplied by minus 13 its value will be 28561 Let's solve main question number 2 that is find the value our first question is 5 cube means 5 raised to 3 its multiplication form will be 5 multiply by 5 multiply by 5 so when we multiply 5 three times its answer is 125 our second sum 8 raised to 1 8 raised to 1 is 8 because we studied just earlier that any number with the power 1 is the number itself third sum minus 7 raised to 
which is equal to minus 7 multiplied by minus 7 multiplied by minus 7 multiplied by minus 7. So when 7 is multiplied 4 times with itself, its value is 2401. Let's take a last example, minus 6 raised to 3. Minus 6 multiplied by minus 6 multiplied by minus 6 is equal to minus 216. Let's now study about square and cube. Square and cube are powers as well. Let's take an example of 4 raised to 2. 4 raised to 2 is equal to 4 multiplied by 4. It is read as 4 square or 4 raised to 2 or the square of 4. 7 raised to 3 is written as 7 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 7. 7 raised to 3 is read as 7 raised to 3 or 7 cubed or the cube of 7. Multiplication of indices with same base. If A is any rational number and M and N are any two positive integers, then A raised to M multiplied by A raised to N is equal to A raised to M plus N. Let's solve an exercise using this rule. Practice set 27. Simplify. First question, 7 raised to 4 multiplied by 7 raised to 2. Here, the bases are same but the index are different. So, we will add them. 7 raised to 4 plus 2 which is equal to 7 raised to 6. Second question, minus 11 raised to 5 multiplied by minus 11 raised to 2. Ya fir, minus 11 square which is equal to minus 11 raised to 5 plus 2 which becomes minus 11 raised to 7. Let's see one last example. A raised to 16 multiplied by A raised to 7 which will be A raised to 16 plus 7 which will give us A raised to 23. So that was our first rule. Let us study about the second one. Division of indices with the same base. If A is any non-zero rational number and M and N are positive integers, then A raised to M divided by A raised to N will give us A raised to M minus N. In this case, instead of multiplying the indices with same base, we will divide them. Let's see practice set 28. The first question, M raised to 5 divided by M raised to 8 will be equal to M raised to 5 minus 8 which is M raised to minus 3. A second question, A raised to 6 divided by A raised to 4 will be equal to A raised to 6 minus 4 which will give us A raised to 2. Ya fir, a square. The third one, x raised to 10 divided by x raised to 10. It's equal to x raised to 10 minus 10 that is x raised to 0 and any number raised to 0 is equal to 1. Main question number 2, find the value of. Here we have to find the value of the following numbers. Minus 7 raised to 12 divided by minus 7 raised to 12 will be equal to minus 7 raised to 12 minus 12 which is minus 7 raised to 0 and as I just said any number raised to 0 will be equal to 1. Let's solve another sum. 4 raised to 7 divided by 4 raised to 5 will be equal to 4 raised to 7 minus 5 which is 4 raised to 2 or 4 squared. It can also be written as 4 multiplied by 4 which is 
16. Let's solve one last sum. 4 upon 5 cube divided by 4 upon 5 square is equal to 4 upon 5 the whole raised to 3 minus 2 which is equal to 4 upon 5 raised to 1. Any number raised to 1 is the number itself. So the answer will also be 4 upon 5.